Greetings and welcome back to room 303 and our chats with Emily. That's what we're calling our readings through the 1775 poems of uh, Johnson edition of the poems of Emily Dickinson. We turn to this little tiny, and this is one of the reasons why we love so many, so many of us love the poetry of Emily Dickinson. Uh, poem 55 by Chivalry's is tiny. It's a, I love this because the word tiny is a significant word. It's a tiny poem. Um, it, when we meet poem 1063, she'll say ashes denote that fire was, and many have used that line to designate the power of Emily's short poems, this being a little, uh, uh, really it is a tiny poem of, of four lines, and, and we'll see this periodically in Emily's stuff, just these like little four line or even less offerings, and yet there's something profound in our observations. I think we're going to see that here as well. Now, our assumptions that you've been following our stuff at LearnStrong.net, down that left-hand side, our chats with Emily's, our playlist. I'm hopeful that you had exposure to the introductory set of comments, and as well, um, we, we just finished with poem uh, 54, If I Should Die. Uh, now, the question of this poem, uh, tiny as we said though it is, is the question of what the well-lived life is all about. She's going to, for the only time in all of her poems, use this word chivalries, plural. It, write, it, it reads like this. By chivalries as tiny, a blossom or a book, the seeds of smiles are planted, which blossom in the dark. Now, there's a, I, I think this is a profound little poem. By the way, in poem 1305, uh, we'll see the uh, pagan of chivalry. And uh, we'll come back to the use of this word, chivalries. Um, it's as if she's wanting to play the game of, is it the big things in life or is it the little tiny things in life that really matter? She'll say, it's the tiny things, chivalries tiny. Blossoms, that is to say a flower. A book, that is to say a possible gift. Or you can think about, of course, her, this is my letter to the world that never wrote to me, right? These poems. And then she'll use the metaphor of seeds and, of course, planting, but she'll call it seeds of smiles that are planted. And then this idea of blossoming in the dark. Now, readers of Emily's day would immediately make that connection to the play Hamlet, Act One, and the conclusion of the, uh, of, of the Act, One Act One scene uh, to soliloquy. Um, where Hamlet will say, foul deeds will rise, though all the earth overwhelm them to men's eyes. Now that's kind of a negative rendering of this idea that you plant seeds and then you see what will grow out of the darkness of the ground and the light. Here, it's a celebration, I believe, that what Emily is actually saying is that the most important things that ever happen in our lives are these tiny things, a blossom, a book, the smile the seeds of smiles that will ultimately lead to a well-lived life. And, and I think that's the point at 2A. It is the little things that count. At 2B, I love her word choice, tiny, and I love that line, seeds of smiles, right? At 3A, well, there's so many places we could go here, but I want us to go to Wordsworth's lines composed a few miles above Tintern Abbey. We've given a full lecture at LearnStrong.net over this poem. It's an important one in room 303. Do you remember what he says about the well-lived life, little, nameless, unremembered acts of kindness and love? For Wordsworth, and I think for Emily, this is a very powerful romantic idea, that it's the tiny things, it's the little things, the little, nameless, unremembered uh, words of kindness and love. Uh, that will lead to those seeds of smiles that she is referencing here. In other words, how can you see that people have committed those chivalrous acts, as she calls them, towards you? And then, of course, can you commit them towards others? And that, obviously, is the 3B question. What tiny chivalries define your life? And I'm hopeful that maybe studying Emily's poetry is part of that. Thank you.